I'm Catherine Anderson. I'm the owner and director here at Viva Physiotherapy. I'm also a titled musculoskeletal physiotherapist and the master trainer of APPI Pilates. Today I wanted to talk to you about foam rollers and what you could do to use the foam roller to help with a sore back. Now there's a few different types of foam rollers um, and with the foam rollers the colour itself doesn't tend to give much indication of the thickness um, but the most important thing is if you're looking to do foam roller work for your back you want one of these long ones which is the 90 centimetre. Um, these guys are good and great for being compact and for rolling out your legs but it won't give you as much uh, opportunity to use um, for your back. Now the reason why we use foam rollers is that it helps with the postural stiffness that we get in our back um, and to be really honest I think that buying a foam roller would be one of the best investments you, you'd ever make. It would certainly save you a few physio sessions. Um, if we can use the roller to stretch out the muscles and the joints, uh, that will reduce the postural strain that you're getting through your back and often makes a great deal of difference with your pain. Now, one little disclaimer, if you're in what we would describe as acute pain, where it's very hard to even stand up or move, um, you probably need a couple of days of rest before you start this. Um, but this exercise is great for after you've gone through that acute phase and you're starting to recover. Um, but also if you've just got um, low grade, um, but ongoing uh, postural stiffness as well. So this is what we do with it. There's two ways to stretch and in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to do what I call the foam roller level one. So you place the foam roller vertically on your mat and then you'll, then you'll come down and sit on it at the end and then you can either use your ab muscles or your hands to roll your way all the way down onto the roller. Once you're there, just have a little moment to get used to the feeling of the roller and even just lying there, turning your palms up, closing your eyes, taking some really big breaths in can be quite beneficial. Now, when I've just done that, I felt a little click in my spine and that's perfectly okay um, and not harmful at all to feel that. And for some of you, it might actually be quite relieving. Once you've taken your deep breaths, you can then start to use your arms to create more load into your back. So what you can do first of all, is just what we call tin soldier arms, going up and down. And when you do this, you should just feel a little bit of pressure just in the base of your, base of your upper back. You can also then do crucifix, which is where you take your hands nice and wide. You can just hold it to touch on the stretch and then move through that range. Or you can also go back and then lie there and enjoy that stretch. If you do get tingles, pins and needles or numbness in your hands when you do this, it's okay to find a little bit of that symptom, but you don't want to stay there for too long until your hands are completely numb. So if that's the case, give it a little, give it a little shake and then you can go again. So just to the edge of those symptoms. If you've been told by your physio that you can stretch through the nerves in your arms, you can move into this position and then you'll find that that little tingly stretch will come in sooner. But if you choose this variation, don't hold out there, just move in and out to touch on the end, at the edge of the restriction. Next, we like to get movement going on through your lower back and through your pelvis. So you can do pelvic tilts, moving forward and back. And then if you've been taught how to make your neutral spine, we'll also then move into that. So you take your ribs, you pop them down, and then you move more specifically through the bottom half of your back. And again, it's okay to push into just a little bit of tension and tightness when you're doing this. The last two movements I'm gonna show you are for your upper back and for your neck. So for your neck, you can do what we call chin tucks, which is just pressing back to reduce the space behind your neck. And then finally, hands up to the sky, nice straight arms, and just take your strong straight arms over your head. Many people also like to lie just with their hands clasped behind their head and their elbows out to the side, which gives you a nice stretch both through your upper back and your pecs. I hope you enjoyed 
going through those exercises. As physios, we see them as a really simple and easy way to prevent back pain, to improve back pain, and to keep your spine feeling really good. So I'd recommend if you could do two minutes every single day, it will prevent a lot of other things from getting sore and tight and hopefully keep you off the physio bed. Thank you.